the Brisbane Bears, while the Tigers are left to explain to their players and supporters what went wrong. Senior players and officials began arriving at Punt Road as early as 8.30 this morning after overnight speculation that coach John Northey was going to quit the club today. However, no one was willing to talk. Oh, look, I can't make any comment at the moment, except that John's still got a year to run of his contract and we hope he coaches next year. Uh, no comment, sir. It wasn't long before the Richmond hierarchy and players came back out and indulged in some cloak and dagger tactics. But any attempt to lose the media failed and their planned secret meeting wasn't so secret. You know, obviously the, the players are a bit on edge and don't know what's going on, that's about it. After meeting behind closed doors for just over an hour, the players had expressed their desire to keep Northy on as coach. Well, the players certainly went in there and just said that we basically support John and that um, you know, we feel that there's, there's good harmony at the club at the moment. We haven't had that for quite some time and, and hopefully you know, the officials have passed that on and they've considered that. Back at Punt Road, supporters had begun a petition and they weren't happy with the club's handling of the situation. I think it, it's really it's despicable, really. But their efforts were in vain as moments later Northey announced his resignation. This morning I went in and had a, a brief discussion with the uh, general manager, Jim Malone, and uh, after that I, I just resigned. Northey was hoping to extend his contract, which was due to expire at the end of 96, for another 12 months. I dare say when you get into the situation I'm in, you need a bit of security, like players do, and uh, really that's what I was looking for, but the club weren't prepared to budge on the contract that I, that I have at this stage. After coaching the Tigers for the past three years, Northey had built up a strong bond with the players. I respect the boys, I love them all, I can tell you that, because you, you just don't do the things we've done out in the ground by, by having great respect and, uh, and certainly having that great spirit we had out on the ground. You know, it's, it's, I must say, that's the part that really hurts me, that you know, I'm, I suppose I'm giving up that uh, chance I talk about loyalty all the time, and you know, which is really annoys me, I dare say. Northey met with Brisbane over the weekend and recognises the potential in the club. You know, it's difficult when you've got to go into a club and get to know everybody again. Um, that's a difficult part, but at least they've got some obviously very, very good young, talented players there and they had a very good year last year. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can improve on, on what they've done in the past, as, as I'm sure Richmond will do. And it's not a million dollars. No, 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 it would have been up there yesterday if it had been a million dollars. Richmond then held a press conference late this afternoon and hit back angrily at Northey, claiming he was the one who walked out on the club and he's only looking out for himself. He's now uh, poking around the media uh, looking for sympathy and he won't cop any from me because he walked out on us, but the club is not at fault here. John Northey is at fault. John Northey broke his contract. He has walked out on the Richmond Football Club and he can say that he had tears in his eyes today and he can say that the players had tears in their eyes, but he has walked out on us.